If you're a beginner in 3D printing, the number of possibilities and applications can be so vast that it can be a little bit overwhelming when you're just starting. But don't worry, in this explains, I will tell you what 3D printing exactly is, how it works, what materials are best for beginners and what do you need to get started. Three D printing is the process of creating a three dimensional object, usually done by systematically layering material on top of itself. The printer reads a digital file from the computer, which dictates how to layer the material to build the object. Three D printing can be used both recreationally and professionally across various industries. It has applications in many different fields and sectors, from the healthcare industry to engineering and even fashion. Increasingly, 3D printing is seen as a sustainable and cost-friendly solution for creating prototypes and tools for different manufacturing projects and processes. Traditionally, acquiring prototypes can be time-consuming and costly, requiring companies to depend on outside manufacturers. 3D printing allows companies to quickly make units of an object, tool or prototype all in-house. So, what do you need to get started in 3D printing? Your specific needs will depend on what and why you want to print. But, in general, there are three considerations to get started. The 3D printer, the filament, and the slicing software. If you plan on creating your own designs, you will also need the appropriate designing software. But, as we mentioned earlier, you can also find many free resources online to download designs. When it comes to the material, the choice for your print depends on many different factors. Do you want your object to be flexible? Do you want it to be head resistant? Does it need to be flexible? These are just some factors to consider when choosing your filament. In general, most beginners start with PLA. This is because PLA is cost effective and usually easy to print with a standard configuration. Depending on your specific project, PLA could be a good starter material. PETG is also considered a beginner friendly material, although it's a bit more technical than PLA. However, it's great for industries like engineering and manufacturing. It's a good material for functional prototypes because it can withstand higher temperatures and has a different chemical makeup that is ideal for these uses. When it comes to the software, there are two important parts to take into consideration in 3D printing, the CAD and the slicing software. Typically, you can use any CAD system that can create a functional model. CAD is essential if you want to create your own models and objects. But remember that you must be able to export a 3D file from it. The slicing software is the second part of the equation. This software translates the STL file into a language that the printer can understand. The G-code contains movement information that tells the printer how and where to move its axis, as well as how much material to deposit. The G-code is sent to the printer via an SD card or Wi-Fi. 3D printing is now more beginner friendly than it has never been. At the beginning, people saw 3D printing as something accessible to the major public, but this sentiment is changing, and for a good reason. While it takes some practice to master your print and technique, learning how to 3D print is now an attainable skill. If you want to learn more about 3D printing, don't forget to check our website. See you next time!